Hey guys, so today I'm going to be flipping through my completed Create This Book. So you're going to see all of this, all of this, everything, everything. In case you didn't know, I wrote it, illustrated it, published it myself back in 2015. And it is available on Amazon.com if you wanted to purchase it. No pressure. Link in the description. This is how it looks brand new. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a significant weight gain there. That's okay. The design is slightly different. This is the 2015 design. This is a redesign I did just recently. But it's the same book, just a new look. Same prompts. Basically, it's just like a blank book with different prompts on each page and you just, you fill them out and use your creativity and it's a fun time. And it's not over. Why? Because Create This Book 2 is here. This is the sequel and this is what I'll be doing next. So I'll do a whole video series on this one. <laughs> But let's focus, let's focus on one thing at a time right now. If you don't want to hear me talk through this entire video, feel free to click on the no commentary version and it's a lot faster and it just flips through the book. The link for that is in the description. I'll let you make the choice now. Okay, great. Now that they're gone, you guys are my favorites. <laughs> okay, let me start into the book. We have the title page, of course, with the rainbow. It's a theme that you will see a lot of in this book. So if you're not a fan of rainbow, uh, this may not be uh, something that you enjoy too much, but I happen to be a big fan of rainbows. I just think that they're really pretty. This is an interesting choice of drawing for this page. I don't know why, <laughs> but she's there with her dog. So it's that's cool. Oh, yep, that's my name. Mariah Elizabeth. Ah, so you have to make a rule to follow in the entire book. Mine was to add a rainbow heart to every page. The monochromatic page. I actually kind of hate this page. Well, I don't hate it because the ones that I hate, I literally glue together so that I'll never see them again. Um, <laughs> no lie, several pages are glued together. This one though just isn't my favorite, although my nails kind of go splendidly with it. I don't think I was very creative, so... Mm. But keep in mind, you know, a lot of this artwork is close to three years old. Things I like, things I dislike. This is kind of cool, actually. Rainbow pepperoni. This page, I'm also not a huge fan of. I don't know. It came out so random and, like, weird. This isn't that old, though. Oh, uh, we have some little spots here. <laughs> you know, that does happen when you're working in a book, but what I usually do now is I double layer every other page so that that doesn't happen and it's not an issue anymore. Oh, George. Hi, George. Oh my gosh, I've missed you. Yeah, this is George. Okay, cool. This is so old. It's still cute though, although there's this very unattractive gap right here. I did this, you know, in the very beginning when the book was kind of fresh and new, and as time goes on, it will relax more, and so that's why we have this gap. Oh wait, this page is TMI. I am gonna skip a handful of pages that have like other people's stuff on them. Let's just not put anyone out there, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I found a nice feeling spot. That's puffy paint. I love this page. This is working for me. Oh, and we have the folding page folded, as you can see. You fold one page and then you can kind of see the page behind it. So you see, you got two pages going here and you kind of have to make them like work together. So I think this looks good. Did I spell any words by accident? Cat, rat, eat, pet, feet, tea. This is a good page. This is my ideal meal, or was at the time. Then again, what are these? Just ambiguous candies. I think I was just trying to fill up the space. Oh, I love this page. The stick figure page. Who is this guy passed out on the side of the road? <laughs> oh, the cat family page. Oh, big family. How many kids are there? This one's me. No, this one's me. Maybe that one. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, so this black line kind of like 
peed. There's like this bleeding yellow kind of thing going on. I used to like tape over all of my artwork to protect it and keep it from like rubbing together, which was a good thought. The tape kind of acts weird sometimes, just not all the time, just sometimes. It gets in a mood. Now I use like a matte Mod Podge Oh, this is cool. I act like I've never seen this in my life. I'm the one who drew it. My teapot made of strawberries. Quick sketches. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I wait, I love this. All the little animals are the quick sketches. What, how long? A minute? This duck. Perspective of the bed is kind of like, you know what I mean? Oh, this one is more recent. These are supposed to be Orbeez. My collection of rainbow things. I think I could have done something with the background there. Oh look, it's Marie. This was before Crooked Eye Marie. Wait, what? I don't, I don't get it. Are her eyes crooked too? No, it can't be. Her face is just turned. So you're supposed to use this to refuse a page and I refuse page 201. We'll get to that later. We're on page 45. <laughs> Create a bumpy page. This almost looks like a stamp, but I definitely drew those little ice cream cones. Page of stripes. I remember feeling somewhat disappointed by, the <laughs> by this page. I don't know. It didn't come out quite as cool as I wanted it to. It's not the worst. This one I did with crayons. We've got the yin yang. There are a handful of pages that I did completely off camera, and this is one of them. Create a pocket, and inside the pocket is this little shrink plastic hamburger. And I just cut like a window into the page because I wanted to have a little peekaboo moment with the thing. Ah, oh, come here, my child. Okay. Oh, my ink blot page. My little bitten cupcake. So cute. <laughs> Who is that? It's kind of like coming up in the center of the book there and there's a big crease right here, which is not cute, but wait, why is this? Hmm, okay. I have to say I am quite fond of this area right over here. The rest of it can go die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Why is this cat like I think, yeah, no, it totally was because yes, this was the color it was before and the tape turned it into that. Like, how does this make sense? I don't know. This is a quite cute page though. I'm very happy with this page. Oh, the secret page. I didn't even show what was behind this door in the video where I did this page, but it's ha, ah, how to make sprinkles. And actually that didn't end up being my next video. I thought it was gonna be, and then I ended up changing my mind. Anyway, obscure shapes, interesting. This guy is supposed to be bored. He is in distress. This is a page of doodles. I don't know, it's kind of, it's like, mm, ugly slash cool. It's obviously unplanned doodling, so this is what you get when you do that. Oh, this is my vacation house. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna live here every day. It's my house in the clouds with the melted rainbow. Oh yes, my quilt of inspiration. All these different inspirational quotes. I think I made a mistake here. Yes, <laughs> forget the mistake, remember the lesson. How ironic and embarrassing. Oh. This is all real fabric that's glued in here. Yep. Oh, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. This is my alien. Wow, she's kind of scary, but like cool scary. I like her. A list of fads. So I did like fashion on this page. Like I would know anything about fashion. Create embarrassment. They're quite embarrassed. I don't know what the story is between these two, but it kind of makes me uncomfortable. Page of checkers. Simple, but I like it. Roop. 
Oh my, yes. This is my dessert castle. Obviously, I have some things that I just, just genuinely love to draw, like desserts, foods, little animals, rainbows, color combinations. So their skin plus their hair is the color combination. I think she is my favorite and she freaks me out the most. This is an interesting page, create a progression. I started with like one little shape and then I overlapped all these shapes on top of each other. And then when I filled up the whole space, I slapped a drawing of a girl on top of it. It was quite the progression. This is my sentimental page. This is a drawing of a Polly Pocket I had when I was little and I lost it. For some reason, it's always haunted me. Where, what happened to my Polly Pocket? Create an advertisement for my made up product. Need more rainbow? Yes. Instructions how to make slime. I don't know who I think I am telling people how to make slime. I suck at it. Every time I try to make it, it's terrible. Oh, these are my creatures. Here's Boo Boo and Zoe and Harry. Why isn't this one Harry? No, that's Fluffy. Ricky, Ben, <laughs> why do they have such normal names? This one's just downright ugly. I hate this one. Why are you here? These are supposed to be nonsensical creatures. It's a butterfly with a big head. Create your favorite page, and I have to say, this has remained as, if not my favorite, one of my favorite pages ever. Love this page. Page of emotion. I see what I was going for with this like messy style here. This is one of the only pages in the whole book I forgot to put the rainbow heart. You see this? Does that bother anybody else? Cause that bothers me. It says twinkle twinkle little star. Directions are actually covered up, but it's the stencil page. So I like cut shapes out of it and Stenciled them onto this page. Draw a set of twins. I drew several sets of twins. This is a cute idea. Oh, this is wild. This is a drawing with only straight lines, which is why we have these weird corners on things. The background is what makes it a little over the top. Okay, yes, look at this. I wish I had dated every page. 2015, so long ago. Look at these girls. I had to draw the bows in like a bunch of different ways. Normal, eyes closed, pen in the mouth. And then I designed like girls to go with each of the different bows. I think she's my favorite. I like the sad girl too. She kind of reminds me of the Grinch. Oh, this one is pretty recent. This is the character that I did for this page and she's just a sweetheart. Has some very nice things to say. Wow, the handwriting is actually not bad on this page. Usually my handwriting looks like absolute trash. Create smudges. This was done with chalk. Aw, look at the contrast. Wait, they could be the same person. This is just her on a good day. Why are there like three girls back to back? And these two are like in the same pose. Definitely more recent. This one is pretty old. I think you can notice some improvements here, right? Am I right? Improvement. But this is actually a cool page. It's about creating an outfit. So we have this dress going on here and then you open it up. Look at that action. And inside there's like all these lounge clothes that I actually wear. I still have all these clothes. Create a switch. So I started just like drawing these shapes and then you have to like switch up your idea. So I turned it into like some kind of jar explosion. I don't even know. Create a fan page and I decided to geek out about Pride and Prejudice. This is like the 90s Pride and Prejudice. I know there's a new one. I think this one is the best. It's great. And create a symbol. This is actually a throwback to one of my old prompt books. I really liked this page when I did it, but now that I'm looking at it, I feel like there's something missing. People were pointing out that this looks like a uterus, which really freaks me out. 
create without thinking. So I just scribbled something and it ended up turning into this weird scribble bear and I really like this actually. Ah, uh, here's my paint by number page. Hmm, you know, I feel like this could have been better. I have to be careful though, because sometimes when I complain about my own artwork, people somehow get offended by that. It always shocks me because I'm like, wait, but I did it, so why are you offended? Oh, and this is one of the pages I did off camera. It's a collage and it's so beautiful except for this. I actually Mod Podge this and then I didn't wait long enough to close the book and so that happened. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of obsessed with this. I don't know, something about it, it's just. Wait, is there a hair in it? Create a flaw. So obviously I spent all this time on this spiral thing and then I smeared black paint on it, which hurt my soul. The point of it is to kind of hurt my soul a page of notes and I took notes on my desk. This little stuffed animal kid thing in the background of all of my videos, he has a name and it's Shia, okay? Ah uh, yes, the weird profession, um, cat sniffer. I think I just wanted to draw cats, so. I'm left-handed, so this is my left hand and this is my right hand. Um, you know, She's not looking her absolute best, but I don't think that this is terrible, to be honest. Create a playlist. These are all special songs to me. Um, yeah. Create a contradiction. So ice cubes on fire. Yep, yeah, that's a that's a contradiction, all right. So basically you just create a drawing with a continuous line and it gets a little tricky, but it does create like this interesting, like overlapping kind of messy style. Area looks a little strange to me, kind of like a bloody spinal cord. This corner needs to be glued down better. Where's my glue stick? There we go. Create patterns and woo, I sure did. Look at her butt. Did I forget to color in the paisley on her shirt? Oh yes, oh my gosh. I'm sweet, I'm salty. I feel like this is the kind of stuff that I draw and that I create, but this is like my actual personality. <laughs> Create an empty setting. Yes. I didn't have anything to say about that page. Oh, this one I did not show on camera. It doesn't make a super good looking page, but it's kind of interesting. Basically, you just collect doodles from like different places and then put them on the page. But why? I don't know. And this page is definitely wild. Create color dispute. So basically you just use the wrong colors on something. So I just created like a nature scene. Ah, you know what? This is earth and this is some undiscovered planet. When they find it, I'll move there. This is a dedication page. So I dedicated the page to food. <laughs> There's a lone fruit here. Oh, and more food. Why do I feel like similar pages are always right next to each other? I don't know, because I did this book in a completely random order, but this is my string collection. <laughs> Little bits of string for sprinkles on all of these desserts. I have a very serious obsession with sprinkles. Oh, and here's a page for your favorite character. Stitch is one of my favorite characters. He's definitely, oh. So you're supposed to just attach something from the past. So I got this drawing of a cupcake from 2010 and then I redrew it. There definitely is some improvement. So at least I'm not getting worse. Oh my gosh, this page is so weird. What on earth is that though? 
What is that? Did I do this page on camera? Did I explain this? Um, they're just open refrigerators with food inside of them. What do we have to eat? What do we have? Oh, bomb pops, I love those. It's also interesting that I decided to draw two different refrigerators. Like why was one not enough? Ooh, create chaos. I think this is a really cool looking page. And this one, create cuts through layers. So I made like a garland out of magazines. Does that say fat? Yeah. Fat? <gasps> I love this. This is pretty old, but I really love this. Create a combo, so I combined a cat and a cupcake. And here is Prism, which actually, somebody who commented on my video named her. Rainbow superpowers, you see? Create textures. So I attempted to like draw different textures on here. This is not like me. Like this is not something that I would normally do. Oh, the tape is so weird on this. So this is actually, oh, it's ripping. Whoops. This is actually the page that I refused. If you remember back here, wow, so long ago, I cut out the little box, which is this instructions void and the page says create ugliness so i decided to instead put some flowers the most cliche pretty thing out there oh and this page <laughs> this page is kind of a hot mess honestly it has opie on it so it kind of cancels out the tragedy that is the background create something out of nothing. So I scribbled and just colored it in to create like a kind of stained glass kind of look. Yes, look at this. I mean, come on. And create a receipt. And I kept track of some squishies that I bought. Look at them, they look so cute in there. Poor guy. This is pretty recent, April, 2018. This page got a little out of control. Like, what was I doing here? I don't really know. I do really like this side, though. Oh, another nature scene. There's a mouse, I found a mouse. My sock monkeys. Try drawing something you've never drawn before. So I chose a sock monkey because I didn't think I had drawn one before. And another food page. But they're on a cloud and a rainbow. It's just everything I love on this page. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this page. Create a colorless page. So I drew mama and baby panda. Love baby. Mama is looking a little elongated. <laughs> I think her body is a little too long. She needs to be like this big, but still cute. Oh yes, create a window. So I made like weird ideas. <laughs> Oh, this page is so old, but it remains one of my favorites. Create an upside down page. So I drew all these girls upside down with different color hair. Her face kind of bothers me a little bit because she kind of looks like a fish. And this one kind of looks dead, but I love all of them. They're just, they're just great. Ew, this is one of the pages I debated about gluing clothes because it's so ugly, but then I look at it and it says, relax, and I know what that means. It's telling me, just let it be, just leave it alone. Basically the prompt is to decorate the page with your eyes closed, and that's what I did. Um, that's why it looks like this. Create contrast, so um, the contrast is happy and sad. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. And this is about some kind of everyday task, so I did it on washing dishes. Washing dishes, it's boring and ordinary, but I do like the feeling of getting it done. Brilliant statement right there. That's true, truly genius. Oh my gosh, this page is actually like kind of one of my favorites, but it's weird because I didn't do this one on camera. It's create scenery. It's another waterfall. How many waterfalls do we have in this book? This is like a sprinkle land, like a rainbow kind of sprinkle land. She's fetching sprinkles. 
with a bucket. What is this? Sometimes I just don't do a good enough job gluing things down. And here we go, we've come to the end. This is the end date. As I said, this has been a three year process to finish this book and that's it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.